ultimately the challenge is interoperability. And uh, I would say that over the last 25 years, first of all, healthcare IT, especially in, in practices and hospitals, is about 20 years behind. Um, that's a great benefit to everyone in this room because we can help innovate, right? Um, major opportunities for differentiation and innovation. Um, but I would argue that one of the main reasons that healthcare IT is so far behind uh, is because there were these bodies about 20 years ago that decided they were going to create their own healthcare standards. And if they had done the right thing, I would, I would propose, which is just use standards we already have. They exist already. They're called XML. They're called XSDs and uh, rest, restful services. Um, these are all things that any technologist can pick up and run with. But because um, some of the behemoth companies in healthcare IT decided to create their own, they were essentially locking out a lot of the technologists that have, could have come in to solve this problem on a grander scale. Uh, so uh, one, of the, one of the primary things preventing us from advancing interoperability between the doctor you go to and the hospital is the fact that they just don't speak the same language. And these hospitals' uh, systems, um, there was uh, someone up earlier talking about you know, how they were adopting a hospital EMR and how much of a pain it was. And I really feel sorry for doctors that are operating in a hospital space right now because they're using systems that are sometimes blue screen, sorry, green screen, and I'm sure they end up in a blue screen on occasion. <laughs> um, and they're just really difficult to use. There's nothing intuitive about them at all. Um, so as, as far as interoperability goes, though, you know, from a doctor's office, private practice, essentially there are things that need to leave that practice that sh really should not be on paper, where you're prone to error, rekeying of information once that patient gets to the lab or to the pharmacy. Uh, heaven forbid uh, a, a pharmacist gives a strength that's 10 times what it's supposed to be just because he can't quite read the doctor's handwriting. They have good handwriting, right? Um, so interoperability between pharmacies and private practice, between um, labs and private practice is something that's just now starting to take off, uh, at least from a structured data standpoint. Unfortunately, they're still using HL7, and that's likely what we're going to be stuck with. Um, I would caution anyone against adopting <laughs> HL7 for any of your interoperability or any standards you're going to be exposing. Um, it's just, uh, it's a dead, I, I would argue that for anything, anything new and innovative that's coming out of healthcare, it's a dead standard. Um, if you need to connect to existing um, entities in the healthcare ecosystem, then unfortunately you're going to have to adopt some of it, but at least wrap it in something, at least wrap it in, a, in an XML um, packet or something. Uh, ultimately, doctors and patients don't give a shit about interoperability, right? They just want it to work. They don't care how their lab value got from their primary care physician to the hospital. They just don't want to have to get their arm pricked again to draw more blood. Uh, so it, it's interesting that we have a very, something that is a major technological problem that ultimately results in human, um, in human error and in human pain and suffering uh, because we haven't really solved this problem. So there, there's tons of opportunity out there to, to fix this issue. ZocDoc's making great strides, just diving in there and, and just doing it with what you have because you cannot expect vendors, especially in the billing space and the, the uh, practice management system space, uh, certainly that ZocDoc is dealing with, um, to make any changes to their code base. They typically don't even have technologists that understand what um, XML is. And <laughs> so big problem, and I think it's going to take a bunch of innovative startups to solve it.